Hey everybody, it's Michael Kwan. Today I'll be unboxing the Samsung Series 9 notebook. Uh, it's basically supposed to be Samsung's answer to the MacBook Air, but uh, with a real processor and, and uh, all that good jazz, but in a thin and light package. What I thought was interesting is, even aside from the box itself, which I'll get to in a moment, it came in a gift bag, which is kind of nice. Uh, the gift bag uh, gets scratched and stuff pretty easily, but it is a nice bag, so I'll get that out of the way first. It's actually a really high quality box. It's not the typical glossy plastic, uh, glossy finish on a cardboard that you get. It's a nice thickness to it. It's the same kind of matte, uh, almost carbon-like feel when you pop open the lid. Get a couple of protective covers. Uh, this is a review unit provided to us by Samsung Canada, so it might be slightly different than the retail version, but uh, it should be mostly the same. So here is the notebook itself. You can see how thin it is there, and on this side as well. It's like a brushed metal finish on the top. It's a flip out port kind of system on both sides. So you can fit your micro SD card, a USB slot, MIDI HDMI, and that kind of thing. And that is a 13.3 inch uh, widescreen display. And with the island or chiclet keyboard, if you prefer, you, know, you also notice that the trackpad is much like uh, Apple's design where there is no physical buttons uh, below it or above it or anything like that. It is one big trackpad that is clickable. So it's uh, very Mac inspired. Four-way D-pad and the, that's the keyboard itself. Uh, it's also, I believe there's a webcam up here as well. Uh, the unit that I have here is running on a Core i5 processor, eight gigabytes of RAM, and I believe a 256 gigabyte SSD. So it should be faster than what you would get with the MacBook Air, especially with the SSD and with the eight gigs of RAM and the real processor. She's quite the beauty. Um, definitely a competitor to the MacBook Air. Doesn't quite have the, tear, the teardrop design. It doesn't quite taper at the end here, but it is pretty slim throughout and it looks like uh, quite the impressive machine. Next up, looks like there's a box. Oh, just like a little paper cover thing here. Cleaning cloth. And uh, system recovery media for Windows 7. Congratulations, this notebook's good for the environment. Uh, Warranty information, quick start guide, so uh, the usual kind of stuff that most people aren't going to bother reading. Safety instructions. This little brushed kind of finish here, it is just cardboard, but it is covered. Looks like the uh, adapter so that you can have a regular Ethernet port, RJ45, for your wired internet access. So uh, not unlike the MacBook Air, except the adapter is included here. Looks like uh, this is the power brick. That's actually a really small power brick. And yeah, so that you get the North American plug here. I imagine if you buy the Series 9 in Europe or in the UK or in Hong Kong or something like that, they just ship it with a different adapter, but this way the power supply itself can be universal. But that just clicks in place and you plug in like that. So you get the brick there. Uh, I'll be putting this through its paces, running the various benchmarks and stuff. So uh, again, Samsung Series 9. My name is Michael Kwan. Full review will be up on futurelooks.com. Till next time, thanks.